We will not have any non-slopped items until, um, never! Ugh, every day it's slop. Monday's refried slop. Tuesday's twice-baked slop. Wednesday's slop medley. Thursday's leftover slop. Friday's mystery slop. Since we're the ones eating the food, it might be cool for us students to have some input. Oh, super cool. Then, after that, you can come to my home and tell me how to brush my tooth! Listen, Pesky, I've been in this business since before you were the maggot, and I'll tell you one thing. I don't take no input. Oh, yeah? Well, you're gonna... Bring it. Maggie, I applaud your moxie, but the lunch lady sets the menu. But if you could please just talk to her? Listen, she scares me. I tried talking to her once before. That's how I got this. <laughs> Drop this reckless crusade, Maggie. For all our sakes. Never! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Isn't there some way we can make this whole lunch thing go away? Huh? If you require more napkins, I'm your man. No! I will not be bought off with your flashy napkins, Principal Pest Strip. The students of Buzzdale Academy have the right to choose what they eat. Good day to you, sir. I said good day. Students of Buzzdale, you are the flies of tomorrow, yet you are being served the lunch of yesterday. I have a dream that someday tacos and hamburgers will rest on the same plate. Who should choose what we eat? The lunch lady? No! Principal Pestrip? No! Should we, the students? No! Focus, people. Should we, the students? Yes! Do you hear that, lunch lady? Do you hear that, Principal Pestrip? Open your ears to the sound of change! Yeah! You want change, huh? Thanks for holding me back. Maggie Pesky, you've done it again! With all due respect, sir, it might be good to get some new blood in the cafeteria. Unfortunately, Maggie, word of your rebellious antics has spread through the lunch person community. We've been blackballed. Who says it has to be another lunch lady? I bet if we fire the math department, we can afford a fancy French chef. Or, if budget's a concern, I'm sure there's a prison cook out there looking for a change of pace. I mean, this isn't rocket science, my friend. If ordinary moms and dads can cook, how hard can it be? That's it! Wow. Wow. I don't know how you did it, Maggie, but this multi casserole is amazing! Mm -hmm. It tastes like victory. Actually, it tastes like my mama's moldy casserole. Raina, girl, you like the child? You who, Raina? Look over here, baby. It's your mommy. Oh, my book. Mom? Hey, hey, son, come here. How's about a hug, huh? <laughs> like you said, Maggie, if ordinary moms and dads can cook, how hard can it be? Genius! Carry on. Nice work, Mags. Now my mama can embarrass me night and day. Wait a minute. What's everyone so upset about? 
We won! We got the power! Hey, Mrs. Garfite, let's have pizza tomorrow. What do you say? Okay, dear, you got it. Yo, Mr. Hairlager, any chance I could get another brownie? I can't say no to you kids! <laughs> Rena, who's in control? Uh, we're in control. That's right! Brownie me! Huh? Huh? Hey, Maggie. Hey, Jim Shorts. Ruby, you left behind your rancid pastrami on right. Oh, what a slob you are. What's going to happen when you go to college and I'm not there to straighten? You're going to flunk out? That's what's going to happen when I'm not there to straighten. And then you'll have to work at your Uncle Larry's glue shop. Help me. Hey, Ruben's mom, how about getting me one of those pastramis to go? Oh, yeah, how about we use the magic word? Oh, um, right. Please. Much better. Oh, she's cute, this one, so ask her out already. See, they're still parents. You just have to give them boundaries. Boundaries? You let them inside the school! They're like an infection, Maggie. First the cafeteria, now they're in the hallways. You think they're just gonna stop? Do you actually think they're just gonna stop? Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <sighs> Tell me what X equals in this formula. Excuse me. I'm Jimmy's mom. I just need to pass out the ballot so the kids can vote on tomorrow's lunch. Yo, right over here, Jimmy's mom. Is that necessary to interrupt my lesson? Jimmy, you know the answer to that question. You did do your homework. Do we have to go over this again? Be a dear, take these ballots to the cafeteria for me, Kay. But I have a wooden... <laughs> Hey, Jimmy's mom, uh, aren't you needed in the cafeteria? Because that's where the parents should be. Uh, Did I hear a sneeze? Mr. Hairlager? What happened to Nurse Hatchison? Ah, that quack wouldn't know her thorax from her elbow. I sent her home. Hey, Julio, check me out. I'm a nurse. Okay, everyone's healthy here. You can go back to the cafeteria, sir. Hey, Sparky, guess who's the new librarian? Will all parents please return to the cafeteria? Where you belong! Miss Winston, you're back! Think bug! No, oh, I'm not back! Just picking up my lucky glue stick! Then I'm out of here! Out of here? You don't have to take this! Wait, quick! Oh, my bug, they're everywhere! It's like Night of the Living Parents! You kids don't look so good. I better take your temperatures. What they need is more homework. More discipline. No. Maggie, what have you done? No, wait. This is good, right? The more they spread, the more power we have. Someone brownie me. I said brownie me! P, we got to get these parents back to the cafeteria. Oh, tut, 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 tut. No, 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 Maggie. Those parents are free labor. Why, with all the money I'm saving, I bought this classy new desk. We have a serious problem. Oh, contrary. You have a serious problem. You were the one bent on change, and oh, did you get it. You must be a bachelor. Uh, <laughs> ah, there it is. This book is nearly six years overdue. Do you realize the fines you owe? But I have principal's immunity. <laughs> you should wear a helmet, man. See you tomorrow and the next day and the next. Well, you get the idea. So, you were saying? We can't just send them back to the cafeteria. We have to get them out of the school. There's only one person I know who's tough enough to send those monsters back to their caves. Um, hello? I'm looking for the lunch lady. Uh -huh. Buzzdale Academy's lunch lady? Uh, uh hi. Ha, Maggie Pesky, right on time. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You were right. I thought I wanted change, but I just had no appreciation of how important you really were. And now... I got a couple of conditions. But I haven't asked anything yet. Don't have to. I'm a lunch lady. Jimmy, Y equals... You! Out! But 
I'm Jimmy's mother. <laughs> Maggie. See? You should put me in charge of more things. I was thinking... <clears throat> about my conditions. <laughs> Ugh. Enjoy. Well, <laughs> you do get to control the food now. Keep it moving. Well, we're all delighted to have our very own lunch lady back at Buzzdale. But at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? Like you was right, Pesky. Change is good. <laughs> hey, Smelvin, the stink bug. It's Melvin, the stink bug. Oh, 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 I got one. Why did the stink bug cross the road? To get away from his own stench. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I got another one, I got another one. How many stink bugs does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know, but you sure do stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, that was funny. That was harsh, Maggie. I sit next to him in history, and you want to know what I learned this semester? What? That I can hold my breath for 52 minutes? Oh, I'm right here, man. Show some pity, for bug's sake. <clears throat> Sorry. <gasps> Whoopsie. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't any of you buzzheads realize that Melvin here can't help it? He's a stink bug for crying out loud. It's his natural offense against predators. Do I know you? Maggie Pesky, pleased to meet you. You know, maybe some of you guys should take the trouble to stand upwind of Melvin long enough to get to know him. It's quite possible that he has a terrific personality. After all, isn't it what's on the inside that counts? <laughs> Granted, we'd all prefer if it stayed on the inside, but the point is, can't we all be friends? <laughs> Thanks. It's the first time anyone's really been nice to me. Happy to do it? So, catch you later. Uh, Maggie, um, look, I just, well, I was wondering, um, if you would uh, like to go out with me? Like, <clears throat> go out and get some fresh air? No, like, go out on a day. Why did you just say no thanks, I'm busy? Because yes was quicker and I was about to pass out. Oh, you have got to tell Melvin you are not interested in him. I know, I just feel bad for the guy. Besides, it's one date. How bad can it be? So, the windows don't work and the air conditioning is broken? Don't worry, we should be to Grammy's house in about six hours. Beans, pull my finger. Oh, my bug. What have I done? You have got to get out of it. Call him and tell him you broke your wings. Save yourself, girl. No, I can't lie. I said I'd go and I'll go. Okay, but you wouldn't be lying if I really did break your wings. Thanks anyway, Raina. You're a good friend. <laughs> I love the feeling of wind rushing through my antenna. I'll pick you up here at the club later. Have fun. Thanks, Dad. So, uh, Melvin, I wanted to talk to you about something. Psst, don't worry. There's no guest fee. My family's been members for generations. Uh, yeah. I just want you to understand that I'm not really... Welcome to the Sticky Feet Swamp Club, where the trash abounds and the scum never stops flowing. Smile! So what do you think? I think I'm in heaven. Me too. No, listen. 
We really need to, uh, talk. <laughs> so, did you want to talk about something? Uh, that can wait. Let's hit that pool! Can someone turn off the jets? They're getting a little too strong. What jets? What is all of that? The Swamp Club Wall of Fame. Pictures of all the club's most popular, busted out members. I've always thought it would be cool to have my picture up there. You probably think that's lame, though. No, I don't. <sighs> I'm really glad you came today, Maggie. Uh, Melvin, I've been meaning to tell you. Um, well, it's just I had a really good time today, but... Oh, here comes the club president. Hi, Mr. Buswell. This is my special guest, Maggie. Hello there, Melvin. Hello, Maggie. You two look like you're having quite a good time. <laughs> it's great to see you young couples enjoying the club. Oh, we're not really a couple. I hope you invited Maggie to tomorrow's scum snorkeling competition. There'll be cake. Scum snorkeling? I read about that, but I never thought I'd actually get to do it. How about it, partner? Let the games begin! And there was so much disgusting putrid muck in the swamp, I could have stayed there the rest of my life. Oh, boy! Three-legged Lisa's a member there. I'm gonna totally use her, too. I'm not using Melvin. Oh, then tell your story again, because I must have missed something. Hello, Lisa? Out! What am I gonna do? I don't want Melvin to think I'm his girlfriend, but I don't want to hurt him, and I don't want to embarrass him. And you don't want him to stop inviting you to the swamp club. Exactly. You want him to like you, but not, like, like you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but here's what you do. You be his friend. You make sure you call him friend. You leave no doubt in his mind that he is your friend. That way you say it without really saying it. You hear what I'm saying? Totally. That was awesome, friend. Congratulations to the best scum smugglers in the club. I feel the need for speed, friend. <laughs> Friend. Hey, Jake. Have you met Maggie? She's my friend. Aldrin, sorry to disturb you during that disturbing thing you're doing, but I need a guy's advice. So, what can Aldrin do for ya? Okay, there's this guy. Ooh, Maggie likes a boy. Okay, I'm done. Go ahead. Anyhow, there's this guy and I just want to be his friend, but I'm worried that he thinks I'm more than a friend. I mean, we have lots of fun together and I don't want to hurt him, and I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything to make him think we're more than friends, so I guess I'm pretty golden. What do you think? Did you tell him that under absolutely no circumstance would you ever, in a million years, date him? Well, no. Then he totally thinks you're his girlfriend. <laughs> mm, that was the most amazing rotted to perfection hamburger I've ever had. You can have the rest of mine. Thanks, Melvin. You're really sweet. I'd give you my rotten burger anytime. Oops. <laughs> Too much broccoli. Uh, Melvin, I came here tonight because, well, I've really had a great time with you, but I feel. I feel it too. It's been amazing. No, you don't get it. I'm trying to tell you that. Well... Good evening. <laughs> As president of the Swamp Club, it's my honor to announce we have a new addition to the Swamp Club Wall of Fame. <laughs> Welcome Maggie and Melvin, the cutest little couple in the swamp. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> yes! <laughs> This is the greatest day in my whole life. And it's all thanks to my girlfriend, Maggie. She's never judged me. Never even ran screaming from the room saying, Oxygen! Fire! Oh, 
for the love of God, give me oxygen! She's accepted me for who I am, and now so have you. I feel so free, so alive, so me! Finally, I don't have to hold back anymore! You've been holding back? I am Melvin Stinkleton! Hear me roar! <laughs> Okay, this is awkward. Oh, Melvin, I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you earlier, it's just I was trying to pick the right moment. <laughs> well, you picked a doozy. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Melvin. The board just held an emergency meeting and, uh, well, after that little display, you're no longer welcome at what remains of the Swamp Club. But that's not fair. I didn't say you weren't welcome, Maggie. You can come here anytime. Anytime? Anytime. You know what? I don't want to come back here. Sure, the club is amazing, incredible, and totally the most fantabulous place I've ever been to, but I had fun because of Melvin. You did? Yes, I did. So he got a little carried away up on the table. So what? He's a stink bug. That's what he does. He stinks. And you know what? I don't care. You don't? No, I don't. Because he's my friend. Friend? Friend. Come on, Mel. Let's start our own club. Wow, Maggie. That was really cool of you. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, you got a little something on your outfit. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna have it burned anyway. Take the plunge under the sea with Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder in The Little Mermaid, coming up next, here on Disney Channel.